What's up guys, hope you all are doing well. So, a couple weeks back I had the opportunity to come over and check out a really, really cool collection of Old York weights. Great to meet you, man. Thank you for Great to meet you. This is cool. Oh, oh yeah. Really cool. Oh yeah. So I walked in there, if we were filming uh, The Strongest Man in History on the History Channel, yep. and we got to go down in the cellar where we trained, and they had a stack of the deep dish plates down there that was, uh, to me, unreal. Yeah. Like it was just so, so cool, right? So we went down there and I was like, I have to ask if I can live in you. Yeah, yeah. So I went down and I think on that one, uh, at that time I asked you the number and we were set five. So then we were saying I was number six and Eddie did it too, so it was seven. Yeah, but so I want to wanna say, and then we, we've, we've thought of a few more people. So I think it's closer to, 10 to 12 people I've have now. pinched. Yes, now. Yeah, like I, I, I'm probably one of the last ones that have done it as of recent. Mm, okay. But I feel like you touched them and you, there was a very low confidence. I would, it would take me like at least very, two, very three low. minutes and chalk them really well to where I would feel like, okay, now I have a chance. But I would make a little bit of a mess. I don't know. If you want I, I wish I had chalk here. But no, I do. I have. If, if you want to, go ahead. My, my thing would be if you're okay with a little bit of a mess. I, 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 <laughs> it's completely up to you. If you're okay with a little no, bit of the best, fine. do you want to try it? I mean, we came all this way, you know. It's like all the chalk I need right there. <laughs> if like you could do it like that, that would be a little, little bit. Oh, 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 a little oh. bit. James, did you get that? I don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're you're so worried about it. They actually sit well together pretty good for this style of plate. But you can see is the rounding here, how it's rounded, yeah. it's not flat. So when you put them together, they want to instantly slip one way or the other. So the, the amount of power you have to put to keep them together from sliding is unbelievable. Yeah, it's gonna be real. You need <laughs> it's gonna be, I don't know if you guys caught that. It's gonna be real. That was the yeah. that was the combo. It's been a few weeks. We were able to do a little bit of negotiating and we are on the way back to actually pick the weights up. Really, really cool set. Uh, my favorite part is probably the York deep dishes, which I can't wait to show you guys. I have loved those uh, since. If any of you watched the uh, History Channel show, those the plates that I actually lifted in uh, Paul Anderson's cellar. So they, they have a special place in my heart for sure and um, they're rare. So really excited to get over there, really excited to be getting these, and uh, we're gonna bring you guys along for the ride. Part of your collection here, Jim? I can promise you it'll be part of it for sure. And I will love it, love it, love it for sure. And, and you know, this stuff, we're stewards. We're stewards of the black iron. Oh yes, and, yes uh, it is, yeah. You know, at some point they will pass on from you. Yes. To yeah. somebody else, isn't that to somebody crazy? Else. Like the, the, what I'm always fascinated by is the history of it. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just like, you know, you go in the gym and it's hard to explain that to people, like looking at like an old dumbbell or yeah. old plate. Yeah. It's like, who trained with it? Yeah. What's its life? Where yeah. has it been and where is it? So, yeah. you know, something like, something like this is just, that's what goes into my brain. And yeah. I think about it, it's like, wow, how many people you know, have maybe touched that or trained with it yeah. and, and not only trained with it, but got better. Yeah. You know, like yeah. they've improved themselves by 
touching yeah. this. Yeah. And that's what's that's what's so cool, I think, when you think about it and break it down is like Yep. You know, to me it's a lot more than just a weight. Like it's it's so much more. I mean you're talking about some stuff from some like the fifties. Yeah. Significantly older than me. Yep. And all of the people that trained with that when they were, you know, maybe yeah. in their twenties. Yeah. You know, it, it just the time will go by. And it's 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 so crazy to think that, but it's true. Like that will last longer than me for sure. Sure. Without a doubt. Yep. Yep. You know? So no. I, I think I told you on on this, so I've got the collars. That, that I keep separate because that so they don't break. They don't break. That's yeah. the that's the issue, right? Yeah. Uh, the the bar came from Massachusetts. A friend of mine, uh, Bobby Burrell, who is a big collector and and, and he works out, uh, had gotten the bar from a guy who'd gone to Vietnam. Never used the bar. Uh, it, it, it needs to be cleaned up, but you know there's yeah. a little bit of surface rust. But yeah, it it's never amazing. used it. It's amazing. Yeah. 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 The plates, the plates came separately. Matt Levan, another another big collector and user out of Pennsylvania. Okay. And probably one of the most knowledgeable guys on the early tall letter, 30s York plates. Interesting. As okay. well as as he's he's pretty big into Jackson too. Okay. Um, he got those plates, the original set, 50s, 60s era uh, from the guy who had originally bought them. Okay. So. Um, you know, it's amazing. So the weights have never, that set of weights has never been apart then. It's uh, always been together. It's always been together. That's amazing. Yeah. 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 So, um, you know, it's a great set. I, I didn't want to lift them because, because it's history, but I, yeah. but I wanted to have that history. No, it's, it is history. That's yep. the word for sure. Yep. So what is the, what's the best route to you get them out? You got two options. If you want to okay. stay outside, which I don't think you need to do, okay, um, because I don't think you're going to bang anything on anything. No, no, yeah. Uh, we can we can uh, go through the garage, okay, because that's a straight shot to your your vehicle right there. Perfect. Cool. I'll, I'll walk up with you so we can get the door and yeah, and then I'll, we can then we can just start doing the yep the trips. Okay. Same set. So maybe we can just stack it in the back. Like one, two. Oh, we forgot to bring the pants. We should have, yeah. Maybe you can go, yeah. Then we'll put the 45s on the bottom, back there. check to see whether they were done in the 40s but they're they're most prominent in the 50s and 60s that's and because awesome. they broke they changed to a different design right the one that was that's more common well they're probably imagine they're probably getting feedback if you were saying like hey it's breaking off or breaking off which then of course yeah. you know how many years down the road now it's like well you want to find them not broken yeah yeah <laughs> it's hard to do yeah yeah you know those those would be cool i think i'm gonna put those up on a like something, make a special stand for them or something. Yeah. So these are the collars that go with the set, so the bar and plates uh, that, are, that are so unique and special. These are a ship wheel collar. So these are super, super rare because typically what will happen is one of these pieces or two of these pieces will break off as they're being used. So to find them like this, 100% intact and good to go is, is very rare and these are are super valuable for sure so it's a neat neat piece I, I'm gonna have to find a uh, a place to put those in the gym or somewhere special because um, I don't think I will be lifting with them because I don't want to break them okay last piece last piece 
locked and loaded. This is exciting, man. So, as you guys can see, we got all the all the moving blankets. I think we've got like four or five moving blankets down, so everything is padded, locked in. Because the last thing you want to do is have some of this stuff get messed up in getting it back to the gym. So that's a uh, a really really exciting load of plates. Bar is amazing. I'm uh, I'm very happy right now. Very happy. So taking it all in, all the history, and uh, we're gonna get get uh, loaded up here and, and head back to the gym to get these home safe. And, and unfortunately, like you said, as the, as the knowledge gets out there, now it's not just people that love it, it's people that are trying to turn it and, and, and almost messing it up for yeah. guys that really do love it. You know, yeah. like it's, it's, you're, you're just like, oh, I'll buy this and, and turn yeah. around and flip it. So yeah, that's the bad, that's a downside. Cause like you put the, the information out there like, oh, well, like say I show those colors. Oh, well, if I find those, I'm gonna flip them versus like, oh, they're so cool. Look at this, the history yeah. of it, you know, like stuff like that, so. We, we consider that when we decided, you know, the handful of us who were gonna blast it out there wherever sure. we could, that that was the downside, but the knowledge and saving the iron was more important. Sure, sure. Than, than yep. cutting costs or, you know, yeah. keeping the cost down. Yeah, I, uh, I would agree, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, well I, like I said, I got something for you, so let's. Let, I would love okay. it, I would love okay. it, yeah. So I actually got two things, so. The first is the old uh, the old gym that the York Gang back in the 60s and 70s lifted in. Okay. Got knocked down some years back, within the last five to 10. Okay. And the York um, Museum shop had, had gotten some bricks that they sold with a certificate. I have a buddy who, was, who lives in York, oh, who awesome. went there to the site and picked up some some bricks oh, how from cool. the old gym, and so so I'm giving you oh, one man. of the bricks that came so this, from that gym. This is from that. This is from that gym. How neat is that? I don't I don't have the certificate of provenance from York. Sure, uh, but but that is from the gym. That's amazing, man. Thank so, you. So so how cool is that? When everybody's healthy and you've got time, we can. I love it. Drop for by. sure. Yeah. I would love it. And then we'll have all that. The uh, hopefully have all the Nautilus stuff ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. I would okay. love it, man. Yeah. Yes. All right, and I'll and I'll send you the contact information for guys that I've talked about. Should you ever find yourself in that part of the country and want to go see these guys in the gyms? It. Right. No, very cool. Whatever I can do. I love it. I love it. This seriously made my day. Man. Awesome. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, it, man. Thank you. thank you so much. Yep. Yeah, drive safe. Yes. All okay. the bumps. We're going yeah. yes, to take, gonna... take her easy. We're going to take it very easy. I said we need to make a home safe. This is a very important load. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Awesome, thank guys. You, sir. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, you too. All right, guys. Officially made it home. I tried to avoid every single bump on the ride and everything made it. These are incredible. So these are the deep dish, 45 pound plates from York. This is uh, maybe my favorite plate of all time. So amazing to have these. And this is one of four. So along with everything else, I, I am not, not disappointed in any way, shape or form. I'm actually incredibly excited. Got to get it unloaded. Got to get it to its new home here in the gym. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. For now, go out and be great. We'll check you guys later.